um India reacts and today we're gonna react to some more music. Well, not music, but what if. All right, so we're gonna do a video. It's called What If. What if you got swallowed by a whale? Thought this was interesting, you guys. Um, what would happen if we got swallowed by a whale? Now, of course, this is somebody's prediction, I guess, of what would happen because this channel is about what ifs. Surfing in a um, tornado or surfing, um, surfing through like a hurricane, the world without salt, what if the world had no salt, um, what happened if you fell, what happened if you fell out of an airplane at 30,000 feet, I do believe it says. So it's different ones we're gonna do, you guys, or different ones we could do, but today, you guys, we got swallowed by a well. What if? Something is lurking in the water. Do you see it? Look how big they are. Close calls like this happen with whales more often than you might expect. And although the people in these videos got away relatively unscathed, there's no so denying that too. they were just meters away from being a whale's lunch. But what would happen if they hadn't been so lucky? Could a human body survive being swallowed by a whale? You would drown. Has it you ever would think. happened before? Because the this water is what if, and here's what would happen if you were swallowed by a whale. If you've never seen a whale up close, it's hard to comprehend just how monstrous they can really be. To put it in perspective, the blue whale is the largest animal on the planet. Its tongue alone Blue weighs whale. as much as an elephant, and it can fit anywhere between 400 and 500 people in its mouth. But we wow. wouldn't have to worry about one of these guys swallowing us. 300 to 500 people? That's a lot, you guys. Comment down below. Before we get further into this, you guys, comment down below. What do you think would happen if you got swallowed by a whale? My prediction is you will drown because there's so much water and, like, they have big mouths. So when they open, all that water comes in. Like, you would think you would drown. Like, how are you getting out of that? I mean, I don't know. Because you might have a little surface to where you know you don't drown. It's anytime soon because their anatomy makes it nearly impossible. Instead, we should be more concerned with their smaller cousins, sperm whales. In 1891, reports emerged that a man had been swallowed by one of these whales. And although he lived to tell the tale, he would never be the same again. <laughs> According to the story, James Bartley yeah. was swallowed when a whale attacked his ship, and he wasn't retrieved until the following day. When the crew found and killed the whale, they quickly brought it on board their ship and cut it open, revealing an unconscious but very alive James Bartley. His what? face and arms were bleached white, and he was blind. All thanks. Shut. We gonna look that up here in a minute. We gotta go back because we go. Thanks okay. to the stomach acids of the whale. However, as the years went by, people started poking holes in this story and questioned whether James had really been swallowed by a whale. I mean, wouldn't the stomach acids do more damage than just bleaching his skin? Well, with the power of science, we took a closer look, and we quickly discovered that if you get swallowed by a whale, coming back out with shiny white skin would be the least of your worries. Right. Okay, so the first thing you'd have to worry about once you were swallowed would be getting shredded to pieces by the sperm whale's impressive set of teeth. Each tooth is approximately 20 centimeters long, that's about the length of an average chef knife, and whales have anywhere from 40 to 50 of these. Mm. Let's say you're lucky enough to make it past all of them. Next, you'd begin your descent down the throat. Not only would it be dark and slimy down here, but you'd also find it hard to breathe due to the lack of oxygen and an increase in methane gas. As the whale's throat muscles constricted in and out to help force you down, you'd also start to feel hydrochloric acid beginning to eat away at your skin. Mm. I know what you're thinking. We just got into this whale and James Bartley's story already seems pretty fishy. Yeah. Well, you're not wrong, but what would be the fun in stopping now? So next, you'd be dropped into the first and largest of the whale's four stomachs. You'd probably be in there for a while, but on Did the bright side, you might have stomach? some light in the form of a bioluminescent squid or two being noshed on after your arrival. 
Sperm whales love neon flying squid. You'd better enjoy this brief light show because after this, you'd just be tossed from one stomach to the next with the acids breaking down almost all of your body until you're just mm. a bunch of bones being oh, wow. unceremoniously ejected from the whale's anus. So yeah, it's pretty safe to say <laughs> that there's no way a you fart. can be swallowed whole by a whale and live to tell the tale. Sorry, James, you may have been able to fool people in the 1890s, but we're on to you now. Yeah, I was about to say that. As vast as they are and as monstrous as they might seem to us, whales actually have no interest in eating humans. And if they could talk, they would probably make a point of telling us that. But that's a topic for another What If. Wow. Yeah, right. yeah, that's crazy. That's what I was saying. I was worried about drowning, though. There's, like, stomach acid, four tummies, like, gosh. So this is what if you guys, if what if, so this is what if you were swallowed by a whale, you guys. We kind of got what would happen. You probably would most likely die. Whales are big, you guys, but people... That's what people, some people do for a living, you guys. I think that is very interesting. Um, it would be fun to do every day, like a job you would love doing. But at the same time, like that's playing with, that's playing with your own life, in my opinion. Like you're going down there, I've seen videos of people close to sharks, like their head, like basically psh, off a shark's head. Like I was just like, oh. and now these whales are so close to people. It just, it's just kind of scary to me, like, but some people like to play with their lives. I mean, some people like that. It's, it's the adrenaline, I guess. Like, some people like that. So, what if you were swallowed by a whale, you guys? Let me know how you guys feel about these videos, and we'll keep them going. Shout out to What If Channel. Shout out to you guys, because um, you guys are awesome. Hope you guys don't block me. <laughs> Smash like button, hit that red one, you guys, and we'll keep it going. Let's see.